Um, today we're going to go over how to use uh, a King Vision. This is a uh, number three. Um, so we have the King Vision here, and one of the first things I want you guys to notice is how curved the King Vision is. And so, like uh, all video scopes, you're meant to see the glottic opening with the camera, but since it's so curved, it's going to be really hard, if not possible, to get a direct vision. Um, that's important because if you have a glide scope. Um, you don't get direct vision and you use a rigid stylet to get in. With this particular device, um, since you don't have direct vision, you have a side opening here to where the ET tube can come down and when it comes down, it comes out right into the glottis. Now, um, this here uh, can be used with the bougie and the nice part about the bougie here is that it has a curved up tip and that's important because when we go in and you see some of the openings and see some of the uh, views that we're going to get of the glottis, you could see the arytenoids down below. And in some cases, if you just went in with the ET tube, you might constantly slip below. And I'll show you what that looks like on the screen. By putting in the bougie, and then you get that little lip up, what you can do is then you can overcome the arytenoids and come right up. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So. Here, we're going to use this as, uh, as a tip, uh, typical glide scope, and that means that I'm going to go down with the technique of going straight back. So straight, follow the tongue down, and then come over here and start seeing some of the view here for me. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is I'm coming straight down, and there's the base of the tongue, and I come in and I'm now in the molecule, I pull up, and that's my opening. So what I want to show you right here is, is that when I'm down here like this, is that what could happen is, is that when I'm putting my ET tube in, I might just not be able to get in, and I could be going down like this, and I might be having a problem. And if I don't have a stylet in or a bougie, there's really not that much manipulation I could do, and I might have a hard time. So what I do is then I come back out with my ET tube, and that's why... I put in the bougie here because you have that little lip up, right? Mm -hmm. So now let's take a look at what it's going to look like. So now I got my vision again and I'm going to come down and when I come down I'm going to make sure that my bougie tip is up and I have a little bit more leeway there where I, since it's tipped up I can kind of play around with it and get it into the glottic opening. Now the nice part about this king is that I leave the king in when I get the bougie in and I could slide the E2 tube in while the king system is still in I'm watching it go in. This is important for, for a lot of reasons, but one I want to point out is that if you got in originally with the bougie here and you were like, okay, great, I just want to take this out and you take it out and then you try to advance this, what could happen is, is you could hit up on the arytenoids and have a hard time getting in uh, through. Uh, the glottic opening. If you keep this in, what you're doing is, is you're pulling all those tissues out of the way and you make the entry of the ET tube into the glottic opening a lot easier. And that's it. Thanks for watching.